What's up guys? Today's video is going to be one that's been months and months in the making. Um, not the video itself, the video itself is starting today is May like 16th or something, but um, the tank has been months and months in the making. I've had this kind of scape in mind, I've been wanting to do it for a really long time, I've been spending way too much money on this tank. I have about a grand in supplies and equipment and hardscape and plants and stuff and all this and I really hope it doesn't go bad because that would be really bad. But um, I meant to put out a video earlier on that tank but I lost all the footage when the software I was using crashed and I'm waiting on JT to get the footage back to me before I release that but that video is coming. Um, but yeah, so this is my 40 gallon. It's going to be scaped with dragon stone, some spider wood and lots and lots of cryptocorn. But uh, I'll show you guys some of the equipment I have and get into scaping. So this is the tank. It's a standard 40 gallon breeder. 36 inches long by, I don't remember the rest, to be honest. Uh, for filtration, we've got an Eheim Classic. I think this is a 227, yeah, it's a 2217. Uh, flows like 300 something gallons per hour. And then we have, I'll show you these guys first before I walk out there. But um, glass lily pipes for both. I think this, yeah, this is for the Eheim. And this one's for the Eheim, and then these two bigger ones are for the other filter that I have. That is, I think, a higher flow rate that's going to be doing the bulk of the work. It's one of these super cheap Sun Suns, or whoever makes it. I'm actually not sure. Just You've probably seen these before. They're really cheap, but they last really long. My friend has had really good uh, luck with his. And it's got a higher flow rate. So when you add a lot of media, the flow in tanks slows down. But yeah, so the... Sun Sun has a higher flow rate that's going to be taking the bulk of the filtration, so lots of, that'll be, I want to say, probably half and half mechanical filtration and biological filtration, and then the Eheim is just going to have a little bit of um, biological filtration, some really good Eheim media that I found, and polishing pads, because it's lower flow, but it's kind of a nicer filter in my opinion, um, or actually it's definitely a nicer filter, but yeah, so I've got the lily pipes for those, and I think I have clear tubing for them to replace the green stuff but um apparently if you guys have ever used window film like on the background that's what this is um the lily pipes don't want to stick to that so i think i may um cut out a little section like a little figure eight kind of thing just to fit those guys in there and let them stick to the glass but we'll see um still need a lid but that's the filtration that's the tank the light is a shahiros Jeez, see if you can see this. RGB Vivid. This is their like top of the line light right now. It's meant to compete with the ADA Solar and the UNS um, Titan. Uh, the light is insane. If I had like plants, or I can just stick some plants in here. It's probably not gonna come. Ooh. And we dropped a fern. I don't know if you guys can see this like super clear, but it looks really good on the camera. Or on, not on the camera, but in person. I don't know how to do color corrections and stuff, so it is what it is, but it looks, once the scape is done, it's gonna look crazy. Just, it looks so crisp and stuff, but anyway, that's the light. It's kind of expensive. Um, I spent way too much on it. I wasn't expecting to do that, but it is what it is. Now I have a cool light. And um, that's pretty much it for equipment, for hardscape stuff, like I said, Dragonstone. Um, and then there's a piece of wood that I'm currently trying to sink right there it's got a piece of um lace rock tied to the bottom of it to keep it sunk down once it's in there i just need it to start sinking with the rock on it if i can get it to sink with the rock on it it'll sink once it's in here and that's all i really need to do it'll waterlog itself over time i've used it in tanks before so it definitely will sink but um i don't know how long it's going to take so i have that rock on there and i might add some more rock but we'll see but yeah so um Obviously, first level or first layer, this is going to be a slope tank, triangular compositions. I love to do that. So, um, first layer is just this pea gravel. It's um, pretty big, as you can see. I have really big hands. So, it's they're basically like rocks. It's basically gravel. Um, that's just to keep the bottom layer from going anaerobic and starting to produce sulfur and phosphorus and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I bought some fluval stratum. And I have some UNS Contra soil coming on the way from Buke Plant, as well as a ton of plants coming from them. And hopefully those get there at the same time. But if 
they don't, that'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to add some of this stratum to kind of like cover up the stone and kind of get an idea for scaping with this stuff. All right, so basically what I want is kind of, it's going to be crypt heavy, but it's going to be triangular composition. I'm thinking the piece of wood in the third over here, somewhere around there. And then the dragonstone coming up and up here, which is kind of how I've, I've messed around with these uh, materials before, so I kind of have an idea how I want to do this. But I want to have it kind of coming down this way, or up kind of and down this way, and then up and down here, and then have negative space all through here, and then behind the stone, and I guess we'll see. I'll probably put it on time lapse and just start messing around and doing stuff. So, like I said, that wood is still trying to sink, so I'm going to use it right around here and have the legs coming kind of, or the limbs coming this way, and then that one longer one coming down, I think. But, um, I wish I had more wood to use, but I don't. But, oh well. Uh, I like this kind of a lot. I might break up this piece a little bit more and add some just detail down here and kind of in these gaps, but we'll see. It looks pretty good to me so far. Um... That stuff will be covered up when I get the UNS Contra Soil. I may, like, lift some of this hardscape up when I get the Contra Soil and rebury it as I add more substrate, because I have a lot more substrate. Um, but yeah, I definitely use too much of that. Um, plants will be coming in probably Monday or Tuesday uh, with the Contra Soil, hopefully, so I'll be continuing the video then. Alright guys, I just got my order from Buke Plant in. Uh, the Contra Soil is here. Most of the plants look good. Some of the crypts melted like very heavily like the crypt willisy just did not transport at all very well that's one i was really excited about but we'll see uh crypts melt normally it's not a big deal as long as there's a little bit of green they usually come back so i'm still going to plant those uh hopefully separate them and move them around they're going to be more of a foreground plant but um we'll see everybody else looks pretty good obviously there's a little bit of melting you can see there and on all the plants pretty much but um everybody looks pretty good basically the windy green and the Willisy look pretty rough. But uh, the other plants I'm going to be using, uh, these guys, I think this is some Tropica, maybe some Lucens. As long as I can get the algae off of those, I'm going to use them. Uh, that one melted like yesterday. That's kind of weird. But yeah, as long as there's no like excessive algae on them that I can't like deal with, I'll keep those guys. And then these guys are going in. That's, um, I don't know if I'm going to use the Balanza yet. I may use just one plantlet, but uh, probably not. This is, um, Spiralis. I want to use the Spiralis. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, start filling up the tank with contra soil where the places I need it and kind of move around the hardscape a little bit as I'm adding more contra soil to kind of bring the hardscape up so it's not just being submerged in soil. And then I'll add the La Plata ADA sand and then add some water and start planting. All right, so I've added all the substrate I want to add. Um, this is kind of, I'm unsure about the sand as of now. As you can probably tell, I overlapped a lot of the um, substrate with sand just because I wanted a nice little foreground area, just negative space basically. Plants will slowly start to creep into here and I may eventually pull the sand out and add more UNS contra soil and do a carpet like later on. But for now, I like it, and I'm going to have dwarf uh, or pygmy quarries in here, so they'll appreciate that. But yeah, now I'm going to go back onto time lapse, fill it up with water just a little bit, and start planting. All right, so we added the wood. I think that's going to look good. Hopefully it doesn't start freaking floating. Um, added some water, so now I'm going to start planting the foreground and the midground, and then I'll add more water and plant the back. But a um, little tip for if you're trying to fill an aquascape and you're not trying to disturb the soil and stuff. 
lay a paper towel down and then a sh really shallow dish or bowl or whatever, and then fill the bowl and it'll overflow onto the paper towel and disperse it really evenly. setting up filtration. I pulled that Sun Sun off of the 55 gallon and I realized that the only things I had in there were filter floss and that's like I said not what I want to run in there. So um, I went to find some coarse filter media like filter floss basically but coarse like sponge and I couldn't find any there at, uh, in my house so I went to Petco bought this stuff cut it out put it in there and that'll be good for now until I can order um, some of the actual ones that are supposed to go in there but yeah i'm just getting these guys situated so this the bottom one is going to be the coarse filter media with uh actually i'll probably toss this stuff since it's really big and porous and it's not going to get gummed up as easily at the very bottom one and then the next one up will probably be another coarse pad with this stuff and then the top one will be a mixture of Eheim filter media and this stuff. All right, guys, it's a, a day or two later. Um, I got really sidetracked when I was setting up the tank and haven't been really filming. Uh, but really the last thing you saw was me setting up the filtration and the tank had already basically been planted. Uh, since then, I've added a little bit more sand in some areas, so it doesn't look really different at all. The plants are starting to melt and grow back and stuff like that. So... It's pretty awesome, but you know, here's filtration as we have all that stuff and boom. I love the scape already. It's so cool. Um, I may add some more stone over here and whatever, but this is where I added more of the sand. I still need to like, uh, what's it called? Not siphon, but um, sift out the UNS trop or UNS soil. Uh, here and here and get all that stuff out so it's just bare sand but I'm playing with the idea of adding a carpet in here so once this all starts to grow in I'll be adding Bucephalandra and coral moss and Hygrophila panatifida, maybe Downoy or um, whatever the scientific name is I can't remember it off the top of my head right now and these little cracks and stuff like that just to kind of fill in and then I might do Marsalea or Monte Carlo mixed with hair grass in the foreground. But I think for now, I'm just gonna leave it for the next few weeks and let the tank get kind of um, matured. But as you can see, we've already got a lot of new growth. Like that's this right there is a new leaf and you can see how that's Tropica. So the old leaves are surrounding it and that new one is really dark. So that's the kind of lighting or that's the kind of growth we're gonna be expecting with this really bright light. Um, it's raised, a lot of people are asking about it, why is it raised so high. It's got a very high PAR and I don't want to have to deal with algae. Crypts themselves are a low light plant, so I want bright light, but not, I want the tank to be very well illuminated and have really good colors, but I don't want really, really, really bright light because I don't want to have to worry about algae if I miss uh, a water change every now and then. Because crypts don't really like big changes, so big cha water changes in this tank aren't going to really help me. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's, everything's doing really well. The Costada's putting out some new growth, I think. It's, like, really dark colored. The, I can't remember off the top of my head what these guys are, but they're putting off new leaves. The Willisi is barely, like, surviving. I'm actually kind of bummed. I really, really hope that's all Willisi back here. This little area right here, that's where I planted the rest of those. And those are more of a foreground plant. They grow like really thin, similar to Parva, but in my opinion, they look better. So I'm really hoping those bounce back because I was really excited about those. But if not, it's not a huge deal. Like I said, I've got those other plants coming or I'll be adding other plants eventually. Oh, and the last thing is I'm thinking about doing a dwarf lily right here. But I haven't decided yet because this is going to get much thicker and that's going to get, you know, thick and lower. But... I don't know. I may do a dwarf lily, or I could do a dwarf lily right there. 
and have it kind of in the foreground, but I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to let things grow and I'll give you guys an update in like a month or whatever. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is, I think, one of my best aquascapes I've ever done. Oh, and if you noticed the random piece of wood or the random dragonstone, that's just to weigh down the wood because it did start to float. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love this aquascape. I've been waiting to do it for a really long time and I'm really excited about this. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, give me suggestions on stocking. I already know kind of what I want to do, but I'd like to see what you guys think. Uh, same thing with plants. Give me suggestions there. Tell me what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys next time.